This video explains how port and SPI output addressing works in the Flex system. The Flex system allows three expansion boards and it uses one of two types of CPUs, the Hinkspix Pro shown here or an Alphapix Evolution. Both work off the exact same expansion boards and cabling and addressing system. So there are some complexities when we have a system that allows expansion and changes or addressing that may change in the future. So let's go through some different possibilities here and explain what your options are and ways to either uh, work around or adjust or adapt systems. So first is in this particular case, we're looking at a controller that has 32 outputs. It has 16 on the bottom and 16 on the top. And in this particular case, you can see that we have two ribbon cables hooked up with a third one unconnected. The back one is one through 16, 17 through 32 and 33 through 48. Now, these are just port numbers. You can see these if we go up here to SPI ports. This is the first one, the very back one. This is the middle one. And you can see here it says not present 33 through 48, which is, of course, the case here. Now, in this particular case, this controller has been configured and delivered to a customer with the exact addressing. So if we go through 1 through 16 here, so this is the first top expansion board. It says port 1 through 16. And if we look on the second board, we'll see ports 17 through 32. And these in this particular case, not always, they do address to the exact same cable label. So you see 23, there's 17. Uh, and then here on the top board, we do have one through eight on this side. There you go, you can see one. So this is a one-to-one -one relationship controller. Now. What happens if you add a long range expansion board, which is possible in this unit by simply adding in an extra board and then moving these connectors forward? Well, at that point, 17 becomes on port 17 becomes the cable label one, not the end of the world. What we generally recommend is to maintain a spreadsheet. Any large display is going to have a spreadsheet that lays out a blueprint for your entire project. It's going to have, this is controller one. This is output label number one. It is universe 124, for example. And it is connected to this specific prop with this many pixels. And so that map will allow you when you're building out your display to keep track of all your elements. And so when you go out there and you're wondering, what do I plug into controller number one output cable number four, which is actually in software port number 21 or 20 and some universe 278. So you got all these numbers that don't necessarily all align and that's completely normal. There's nothing unusual about that. So if you were to add something to this, it would then move it up. And you can simply just take these off when you power it down. If anytime you change these ribbon cables, you always have to power down the controller, move them around. Again, that does change the addressing. Now, your controller may have come with numbers for future expansion already in place. For example, if this controller might have been delivered with 16 outputs and in a controller housing that allows up to 48 outputs, you may have received a controller that has labels on the cables starting at 33 through 48. And that allows you in the future, if you were to add additional items, to then add them and then they'll work back from there. So you can always adjust the labels, I mean the cables here, to move the addressing around. So let's say that we receive this as uh, on this bottom board as 48, 33 through 48, we could simply move this to this position, move the first one to the middle position and leave the first one open so that it would have nothing in it. So it depends on your particular setup, how the addressing will be made. But don't fret if your numbers don't align or you've made changes to your controller or you want something to align in a different way, that is perfectly possible and they may not always align from port number to actual physical cable. But again, we do recommend using a spreadsheet 
to manage that plus all the hundreds of other outputs you may have.